Hello, good morning everybody. Actually, it's almost about noon. Um, we had a pretty busy morning this, so far. Uh, we drove about an hour to get to a park so we could work out. Um, we had a killer workout this morning. It was super awesome. And now, Dustin is getting a tattoo. I know that probably sounds crazy to some of you with everything that's been going on, but places are starting to open. We love to see that. Um, we support the businesses that are opening. Kudos to you. With that comes precautions. So a lot of businesses that are opening up, you still do have requirements of, some are requiring you to wear a mask. Um, and so that's what Dustin is doing. He went in to get his tattoo. His appointment was at 10. Um, and he is required to wear a mask to go in and stay in there. I am staying out just because there's no reason for me to be in there um, if I'm not getting anything done. So today you get to hang out with this cuteness. She is tired. She kept, her, she kept us up all night. She was whining, she was crying. We don't really know what was going on, um, but now she's tuckered out. So. With that, uh, yesterday I planned out my entire week. So on Sundays, we've done a vlog about this before. I'll post the link above. But we sit down, we plan out our week so that way we know what needs to get done. And it helps keep us accountable, helps keep us on track so that way we can check all these things off of our list and there's nothing hanging over our head. So today, the first thing that I have to do is edit your guys' vlog. So let's get to it. All right, guys, so we got some work in today and Dustin is back. His tattoo is finished. What right, do you guys. have to say? All right, guys, so as Tanya said, we took the precautions, we did the thing. I actually started this tattoo literally almost a month ago. Um, when all this stuff was starting to rise, a uh, client had backed out on her. So I slipped in as we were able to travel still. We ran up from Nevada and came here and got the whole bus done as well as some of the outline. And we didn't really want to say nothing because people were still getting pushy and weird with the whole virus thing. And now I frankly don't care. It has been long enough. We've done all the things and the county that we are in when we were doing the bus tattoo, I actually was the last person to legally get tattooed here. Because the county I was in, it was the last day that they deemed her essential. The following day, she was inessential and unable to open. So since then, she has been closed down and following all the protocols that has been put in front of us from the government and whatever, whatever. Today was the first day they were open to back up, oh, able to open back up and was deemed essential again or able to open however you want to say it and i was the first person to get legally tattooed on this end so without further ado i don't know what you've all seen but here is the grand finale dun, 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 oh Woo! Now, granted, it does have some bleed through, but, oops, sorry, the focus. But, as you can see, it is Lucille at a camp spot out in the desert with a beautiful sunset. And, what do you guys think? What do you think? After about ten and a half hours of, actually, this one hurt quite a bit. Um, I'm done. I'm glad that it's done. I'm ready for it to be healed. And I'm grateful for what it signifies. A lot of people see a bus and a sunset, but to me, this is Tanya and I built this life 
Tanya and I are able to travel, we're able to do the things that we want to do, and we're able to continue to enjoy each other, and now we're adding Journey tomorrow. It's just a lot more than just a bus at a campsite with a sunset. So with that, I love it. With that, I think that's all we're going to show you today. Um, Again, we didn't want to share the process of the tattoo, so we did not film any of it. Um, kind of like I stated earlier, I wasn't going to go inside with me not having to have any purpose being in there. But you get the gist. You see it. It is beautiful. And we're going to go find a place to park. We're going to get some food. And we're going to chill the rest of the night before my dog falls out of my arms. <laughs> Yikes. Come here, baby. She is tired today. She's been very sleepy, so hopefully she sleeps well tonight. With that, thanks for watching, guys. We love you, and we will see you tomorrow with a huge surprise. Talk to you soon.